Dear friends, every time you go to a casino, you want to win a lot of money. But have you thought that why you couldn't win more money every time you get out of the casino? On the other hand, if you average out your balance over a period of time, you will find that you have lost more than you have won. It is not about you, every person who plays in a casino is bound to lose money over the period of time. He can never win continuously leading to bankrupt the casinos. Have you ever imagined, why any of the casinos in the world never go bankrupt and they earn with 100% certainty while the players are bound to lose money every time they play? The answer is not based on lucky day or lucky number but the answer is based on probability theory. This is a very famous problem in probability theory known as gambler's ruin problem. Suppose two players play a game consecutively till one of them loses all his capital. John starts with a capital of $500 and Alfred starts with a capital of $300. The loser pays $1 to the winner in each game. Moreover, suppose both have equal skill set or equal chance or probability of winning the game. So, what is the probability that John will win the game, if there are no limits on the number of games? Well, the probability theory says that the probability of winning the game depends on the wealth of the players. Now, according to probability theory, your chances of winning the game depends on your wealth. So, if you play with more wealth than your competitor, you are surely gonna win in long run. Therefore, here John has almost 62% chance of winning the game. On the other hand, Alfred can win temporarily, but after some time, he is definitely gonna ruin. Hence, you should never play with someone having more money than you. This was about a fair game. But things are different in a casino. Casinos and state lotteries work on this principle. In a casino, if you play against the house, you are definitely gonna lose in long time. This is because the house have extremely more wealth than you. Moreover, the game is not fair in casinos. They always keep a slight advantage to themselves, and since they also possess large capitals, their ruin is practically impossible. And a sensible strategy in such cases would be to quit while ahead. This conclusion is also confirmed by experience. It is hard to find a casino that has gone out of business or doing rather poorly. Interestingly, the same principles underlie the operations of more respectable institutions of great social and public value such as insurance companies. Now, what should be your strategy to win if you must gamble? To know please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching.